Many of you have been waiting and asking for the next Cohort theme. And now we're finally ready and proud to reveal a brand new Cohort Gawker theme for WordPress. We don't release themes every month like some do. In fact, our last theme was released all the way back in 2015. And that's because we don't build to sell. We build themes that we need and want to use in our business. And only if a theme stands up to our own rigorous quality test, we will offer it to you. And Coca Gawker passed all the tests and then some. In fact, we're getting fantastic results with it. But before I show you how and why we built Coca Gawker, I need to tell you a little secret. I love cooking. Now that might be a surprise to some of you, and some of you who know me know that I absolutely love spending time in the kitchen cooking. And I'm going to show you one of my favorite sites that is related to my passion for cooking great food. And this is Food Gawker, my secret weapon in the kitchen. I love to come here to find new recipes and the cool thing about how this site works is that <clears throat> this has a collection of thousands of recipes and you go in here and you look at the images and, and you find something you want to cook rather than having to <coughs> search uh, Google to find recipes for, for stuff and this means that I will discover stuff that I didn't even know existed because it looks interesting and then I'll find it. So this is a great way that they've aggregated this information that I'm interested in, in an easy and nice way for me to find it. So this has become my go-to hub for all recipes. And of course I can search the site, uh, <coughs> different categories, words, and all that good stuff. Now what is also really cool with a site like this is that I can favorite recipes, but it tells me to log in. And that means that for people to use full functionality of the site, they need to sign up for it. And I go on their list and uh, they get someone they can market to and to keep coming back. Now, but one once I have uh, signed up and signed in, I can favorite the post, uh, put notes on it, and then it will be saved, saved in, in my favorite recipe, so I can always find them. Uh, I can even submit my own stuff. Um, if we go here, I can submit the link to here, and uh, people also sign up in order to share their own recipes, their own blogs, and whatever. <coughs> and all these, uh, uh, posts on here are from other people's blogs and sites. This is not stuff that Food Gawker put up there, just the aggregator. They curate stuff and in fact their members do most of the posting and curating for them. And you can see they have ads on here <coughs> and that's how they make their revenue along with the list income from people who sign up and they get thousands and thousands of members. So that was a quick look at Food Gawker and what's so great about their site is that they don't create any content. They simply curate and link to the best recipe blog posts out there. And people join their site because they want the functionality of being a member or because they want to share their posts on there or both. Their members submit, like and curate posts for them, growing the site and the quality of it on autopilot. And Food Gawker earns money from ads on the site and from being able to email their list of members. If you think that sounds great, you're absolutely not alone. I very much wanted a theme I could use to build site sites like Food Gawker in many different niches. But my search efforts left me empty-handed, such a theme simply does not exist. And I wasn't the only one looking, I noticed a lot of other people asking for a theme like this. So we set out to build the Cobra Gawker theme, and now we're super excited to bring it to your personal marketing arsenal. And let's go in and have a look at exactly uh, how Cobra Gawker looks and what it can do. And here we are on my test site built with the new uh, Cobra Gawker theme. <clears throat> and as you can see, I built a site here in the uh, do-it-yourself renovation and design niche, uh, but of course you can use the theme in any niche you want. And the first thing you'll notice is that this looks exactly like Food Gawker. Uh, obviously, that is the point of this. It has the same functionality. You can customize the look of it a lot, and I will go get into that when we go into the admin area and see all the options. But it has the same stuff here. These posts are all blog posts or Amazon products or or something else, but they're all from other sites. There's nothing I've written. I'm, I've cu I'm curating here, presenting this as in a nice visual form for my visitors and members to find what they need in this given niche. So if we look at uh, this post here, I can open up because I want to open up a couple here. But when you click a post, it opens up the single post here, and uh, and then you have the post here, and you click to read more, and you go to the the source of the post, and uh, that's exactly how it works. And uh, this one here <clears throat> is an Amazon product, as you see. We will also show related products based on tags and categories and keywords. 
uh, here. So the more posts uh, you have in uh, that, that fit it, the more will show up out here as well. And this is actually an Amazon product. So when people click to read more, they go to Amazon where they can purchase uh, this particular stone wall if they want to put that in the garden and I will earn a commission. Uh, <clears throat> and it has all the same stuff here where you can uh, sort the post by time, by most liked, most viewed. Uh, you can search based on uh, categories and keywords. You can look at uh, only the landscaping category, the kitchen category, whatever on here. And you can also favorite the post and, uh, and whatnot. And obviously you can also register as a member I'm already registered, so I'm just going to log in. And then when I'm logged in, I also have the option to uh, like a post, put a note on it, put my own tags on it and save it. And then I will be able to find it in my favorites easily. And I can even go and submit a post. And that's how <coughs> uh, you and your members can easily add a lot of new great content to your site. And over time, your members will be doing uh, this for you, growing your site on autopilot. So if we go into the admin area here, we can go into the theme visit and I will show you exactly how Kogoko works. As you can see, we have our usual step-by-step <clears throat> -step wizard here for setting up the theme and for editing in here, complete with tutorial videos that will autoplay when you click a button inside the admin area here so you get the information you need right where you need it uh, when you need to fill stuff out. And it's very super simple step-by-step uh, -step setup here. Uh, to change the colors, uh, to change <clears throat> anything about the site that you really want. It's a welcome email that will be automatically fired when new uh, members sign up and you can obviously put uh, an ad in here, a link in here. And you can also see here when new members register, add them to your autoresponder list. It integrates with Aweber, GetResponse, iContact, MailChimp and indeed any other uh, autoresponder as well. Uh, so you'll automatically be building a very <coughs> targeted niche list uh, when your members sign up and they will sign up in order to use the full functionality on the site and to submit their own stuff because people like to get free links and free traffic. And again, there's uh, mails that can be sent to uh, the members when they, their new posts are accepted. Uh, you can put some ads in there as well. And you have settings <clears throat> for denying posts from certain URLs, denying posts with certain words and so on and so forth. Lots of great stuff in here uh, that is very easy to set up. Now we also have the theme ads, <coughs> which means you can put a uh, banner in the header and you can toggle that on and off. And if you go in and see, I have an ad for Cola Gorka in the header here, you can change this uh, to whatever you like to promote up there. And you can also show random ads in the post uh, on the side. So you can see I have an advertisement here, also for Cola Gorka. You can set up up to five different ads here. For anything you like, this could be Google AdSense, could be Amazon Ads, a banner like I'm doing, and these can show will show uh, at random between the posts, and you can specify how many should be shown per page, uh, how often, and how soon on the page. <clears throat> and finally, I just want to show you how easy it is to fill this uh, site with content, and you can literally build a full of forest sites in minutes <coughs> using these settings here. So if I go into settings here, that's uh, just for automatically creating tags. And then I can go into search for posts. And <clears throat> what we need to do here is just put in uh, an RSS feed from a blog that we're interested in finding posts from. We can put in keywords here. Put in a keyword here to only find posts that contain that keyword from the particular RSS feed, which can be very handy too if you want to be very specific in what you put in right now. You can search for that keyword and title and content or in the title of the post only, or in the content of the post only. And finally, you can select how many uh, posts maximum will be returned in this post. I'm happy with 10. Don't want to use a keyword right now, so we just hit search. And the post comes in uh, here. And uh, you can click a link to view the original post to see if you want it on your blog. And you can also see a preview of it in this scrolling box here. So let's put some posts on our blog. I want that one. Um, the cabinet sounds good. And a plate rack, let's do that. And garage storage. And then I want to put that in my storage category. And finally,